The Book of Love Once upon a time there was a couple named John and Emily who were full of love for their daughter Lily. They worshipped him more than anything else in the whole world. Determined to give her the most extraordinary birthday present, they set out on a mission to find a beautiful dollhouse from an old antique shop. Little did they know that this dollhouse housed a curse created by the mystical forces of the Book of Love, hidden within its walls. As soon as John and Emily brought the dollhouse home, they took it downstairs to give it some cleaning. By opening the parts of the dollhouse, they noticed a strange book on one of the shelves inside. A small but heavy book. Their curiosity piqued. They opened it and discovered the title. The Book of Love. An ancient book. It is said that this book, which is known as the Book of Love, has mystical powers. Captivated by its mesmerizing aura, John couldn't resist opening it. Little did he know that this seemingly innocent act would trigger a curse that would change their lives forever. As he turned the pages, blinding light filled the room. Suddenly, John and Emily found themselves shrinking, their bodies turning into miniature versions. At first, they were trapped inside their daughter's dollhouse and were unable to escape from its confines. Another strange thing was the book coming alive. The book, now able to speak, showed them a note. It read, To break the curse, you must prove your unwavering love for each other and your precious daughter. Follow the instructions and complete the tasks given. The book also threatened them if they did so. Don't do it I will imprison you as a puppet forever. Although they were scared and surprised, they decided to work together and find a way to escape from this miniature prison. Determined to find a way back to their normal lives, John and Emily embark on a perilous journey through the dollhouse. Their first obstacle was escaping the confines of a dusty warehouse where they found themselves stranded. The couple had to navigate the maze of tall shelves in the overgrown dollhouse. Also, they had to get out of the underground to go back to the living room and to their daughter. John and Emily, their normal frames now shrunk, stand side by side in the heart of a doll's house, and their determination is a beacon against the odds. The giant's realm had changed their reality, and their survival depended on sheer determination and determination. Confusion and fear filled John and Emily as they surveyed their surroundings. The once familiar underground now spread before them like a vast maze. Furniture like ancient pyramids and huge toys were scattered on the floor, their proportions strangely exaggerated. In this enlarged realm, John and Emily were reduced to mere specks that paled in comparison to the grandeur of their surroundings. With unyielding determination, they began a dangerous odyssey within the confines of the dollhouse. Their first challenge— escaped the dusty warehouse where they found themselves obliterated. The air was heavy with neglect, and the shelves that once housed mundane objects now towered like majestic rocks. John and Emily moved through the maze of tall bookshelves, their footsteps echoing in the cavernous space. Every stage was a gamble, as the dangerous mechanical devices once harmless now took on monstrous forms, ready to trap them. Here, in this distorted reality, Survival meant mastery in a world where scale defied reason, and the slightest mistake could spell doom. As John and Emily ventured deep into the domain of the giant, they face a series of great challenges. In the first challenge, they had to find keys and fuses. In addition to connecting electricity, they also activated mechanical devices to reach other parts of the building with their help but the fuses were in the form of living creatures that were very difficult to access and capture. They also had to use the tools carefully, as there was a chance of injury and even death. Also, sometimes they had to avoid dangerous mechanical devices that now had monstrous sizes. They had to make a way to freedom with their small bodies. They wielded saws and drills with tiny hands tools designed for human-sized tasks. The wooden walls of their prison became their canvas, and they carved secret passages. With his knuckles scraped and raw, John made a narrow tunnel through the baseboard of the dollhouse. Emily, her fingers trembling, ran wires through the walls and connected the circuits that would lead them to freedom. Their path was full of danger. Electrical fuses that were once common now crackle with energy and threaten them. Frowning, 
Emily manipulated the delicate wires and dodged the traps set by the unseen architect of this twisted world. John, his eyes squinting against the miniature sparks, tucked himself into tight corners, creating secret compartments where they could rest and plan. Every step brought them closer to their goal, but it was not without sacrifice. John's knee cracked through the wooden floor and Emily's ankle twisted as she pushed through a crack in the wall. They patched each other up with makeshift bandages small strips torn from their own clothes. Their resolve was tested to the core, yet they continued. Failures were relentless. The elevator, with its gears grinding together like old teeth, nearly crushed John as it climbed. Emily, gasping for breath, deciphered mysterious symbols carved into the walls of the tower, revealing hidden passages. And then, in the tunnel a maze of broken red reflections. John caught glimpses of other versions of himself, lost and frustrated. Emily questioned her choices as her reflection mocked her. But they clung to each other, following the right path, their footsteps echoing through the mirrored corridors. Despite the hardships, their love for Lily remained unwavering. Even in their miniature forms they were energized by the thought of being reunited with their daughter. Their love drove them forward and gave them the courage to face any obstacle. Finally, after many hardships, John and Emily reached the final stage of their journey. They could see Lily's room just ahead, their hearts filled with hope. Tears of joy flowed down their faces. Their daughter, oblivious to their struggles, innocently played with her toys. John and Emily's hearts filled with love as they watched Lily's carefree laughter. Despite their small size, they knew their love transcended all barriers. Up to this point, they had proven that even though they were trapped in the world of giants, their love knows no bounds. They had overcome adversity and proved that even in the face of insurmountable challenges, parental love remains unyielding. Much to their dismay, a massive vacuum device stood between them and their long-awaited reunion. For a little while, Despair threatened to destroy them as they imagined that all their efforts might be in vain. However, they knew that time was against them and refused to give up. They knew in their hearts that love would always be their guiding light, no matter their body's size or the obstacles they faced. They realized that they had to devise a plan to surpass the vacuum machine with their ingenuity and unwavering love. I'm happy you watched this beautiful story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.